Seribu Dua ribu Dua setengah Kope Tiga ribu Duit gua Duit gua Duit gua Duit gua Ambil Duit gua Duit gua Bima Help Bima Help Bima Siapa panggil Bima? Saya panggil panggil Bima Sadra Garuda. Ante, kok lu sih? Eh, gua tu manggil Bima Sadra Garuda. Kau yang muncul lu. Aduh, kurang ajar zaman sekarang. Dicolongin, malah begitu. Tadi, sekarang mana ni perampok ni? Cepatan ni. Selamat malam lu. Hahaha, rasain lo duitnya gue ambil. Eh, siapa lo? Masa ye lo lupa sama ikan eh keceplosan? Masa lo lupa sama gue? Gue adalah Bimo Satrio Garuda. Masih saudara jauh dengan Bimo Satrio Garuda. Hahaha, makanya nonton dong. Siapa si Minggu? Lo jarang punya TV sih kayaknya. Isabel deh, ikan gua aja deh, boh. Ih, kompan kompan sih, kabur aja dah. Lo, apa bilang lo sakit? Sakit juga tau nggak lo? Makanya, berbuatlah baik kepada setiap obat manusia. Hai, anak muda. Ya, udah. Ampun. Ampun. Sekarang, waktu ya kamu untuk membalikan uang anak muda itu. Ya, baiklah. Dua, dua. Seperti ini lah. Ka kamu. Ini uang aku kembalikan. Makasih, makasih. Sama-sama anak muda. Hello guys, what's up? Tara Arts Movie here with another super super exciting After Effects tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this. So we're gonna play the video. Well, you already <laughs> saw the video, the previous video as you can see here, but this is the effect that we are going to learn, which is the missile effect that coming out from, from this guy's hand. <laughs> because lots of you have been asking me about this effect since the weapon hand and now is the time <laughs> for me to teach you. So, uh, to do this effect is actually pretty easy now, but um, you're gonna need a third-party plugins from Red Giant software called, called Trap Code Particular. So make sure you search it on Google Trap Code Particular, and then on Red Giant software, you're gonna buy the product and install it because it it it, it doesn't come with After Effects. It's a third-party plugin, so you're gonna to buy it separately and then install it. If you already have it, then there you go. We're gonna start the tutorial. <laughs> so first thing first, of course, you're gonna shut yourself 
with the camera, of course. <laughs> if you want, uh, if, if you if you want the easy one, you can you can just use a tripod. But uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm gonna be teaching you with the uh, camera moving. Boom. So first, of course, if you got a moving camera and you're gonna put some effects on it, you gotta track the camera. Now, in After Effects CC, uh, you can go to Window and activate the tracker. Tracker, <laughs> and then you're gonna have the track camera. So make sure you click the layer and then track camera. Now, if you don't have After Effects CC, uh, well, you can use like third-party plugins. I forgot the name. Uh, also, 3D Tracker, but I forget the name. It's from the Foundry, but the Foundry 3D Tracker, I, I think. The Foundry, the Foundry 3D Tracker. I think you should also search it on Google if you don't have After Effects CC. But if you have After Effects CC, I think it's from CS6, the 3D camera. I forgot. Uh, there you go, the 3D camera. It's fast, it's crazy, it's beautiful. <laughs> now, first thing first, we're gonna create a camera from this uh, scene. So, whatever you think it's uh, good and already, you know, everything is uh, as you can see here. If you move your cursor here, you can see that these three points represent really our world. As you can see here, it reads the plan correctly. So, right click on that and then create solid and camera. Or maybe no. Maybe I just create no. Whatever you want, actually. Just create solid for me so I can see if it's already. Yep, it's quite good. As you can see here, as you can see here, the solid is. Well, it's not perfect, but it's okay for me. If you if you think it's not so perfect, as you can see here, it's kind of jiggle a little bit. If you think it's not that good, you can just uh, solve it again and then, uh, yeah, uh, you know, go to advance and uh, detail analysis you can do that but for me uh, I, this is pretty good because uh, the missile is gonna be moving so fast anyway uh, you, you guys won't uh, you, you, you won't see anything weird so after this <laughs> you can just turn off the solid because for me that's just for you know preference and then you can go to layer new solid and then this one we're gonna name it missile la, 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 la. and then click OK Whatever color you want for me, I'm just gonna make it black and then click OK. Boom! It's gonna be the solid for our missile. Now we're gonna put it up. There you go, right there. And then go to fact. Make sure you uh, on the solid, uh, the missile layer, the missile solid layer, and then go to fact, video co-pilot, and then oh, I'm sorry, not video co-pilot, <laughs> um, trap code, and then particular. Boom! There you go. Now, uh. As you can see here, if you scrub through this, because uh, Trapcut Particular reads 3D. And as you can see here, because we already created a camera, um, the particular is already in 3D space. Even though it's not 3D yet, it's still a 2D layer, but uh, because the Trapcut Particular reads 3D, as you can see here, it's already like it's right there in this scene, in the 3D space. That's very good. Now, but we won't be using this default uh, you know, particle. We're gonna use the presets. Ding, 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 ding. Now, if you don't have these, um, probably uh, because since After Effects CS5, I don't, know, I don't know why Adobe did this, but since After Effects CS5, the default setting for the uh, pr animation preset is turn off. So all you're gonna do to turn on is go here in a little triangle over here, click that, and then show animation presets. After you click that, if you still don't find these presets you can just restart your after effects and after that you sh you should find these presets so we're going to choose the fire starter for me it's going to be my uh, the hd one because my video is hd now as you can see here it's just uh some missile wandering around why because if you go to the emitter uh the default is already have some <laughs> some uh, keyframes going on here so all you're gonna do is turn the keyframes off and there you go it's gonna be uh, stay still not moving around now all you're gonna do is animate it right now it's uh, very easy and simple it's, it's actually pretty simple effect really simple now so here we're gonna go to when this guy starts to like shooting his missile boom there you go so in this part we can set the position x y to his fingertip I remember this Z space is uh, you know close to camera and far to the camera and uh, make sure it's gonna be in in his hand 
as you can see here it's already in the tip of his hand now we're gonna go to the frame where he's shooting boom where's it there you go so we're gonna start from here so we're gonna just cut it right here and then set a keyframe for the position X Y and position Z you can actually show these uh, keyframes also in this layer if you want just click on the missile layer and then click U it's gonna show the, the uh, keyframes here and then move several frames and then on the Z space especially you're gonna move it uh, to the left so it's gonna be uh, you know coming through the camera if if by the way if if uh, if that's the scene that you want for my scene by the way it's gonna be like that it's coming to the camera as you can see here pretty cool there you go so until it's uh, like so move it boom so if we play this whoosh like so really cool as you can see here so there you go <laughs> we practically done here now if you want to add more smoke you can go to the uh, particle and play with the settings it, just don't be afraid just play with it play with the settings particle life random life per second blah 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 the size maybe make it bigger whatever you want uh, you can play with this don't don't just the, the point is don't don't be afraid to you, you made a mistake I mean you can just control Z yeah like I did here control Z control Z if you if you, you don't like what you see it's uh, you know well just don't be afraid <laughs> so you can play with it uh, until you find wh exactly what you want because we already finished here by the way but I'm gonna be teaching you another effect um, now this one here oops sorry I'm gonna delete that now this one here as you can see here I'm just gonna be showing you um, in this video I use uh, some kind of flare here to create some you know some unique feeling with the missile it's gonna be uh, it's gonna make the, uh, the missile looks pretty good too so like a flare here now I'll use also a third-party plugins from videocopilot.net called optical flares now you're gonna buy it separately again from videocopilot.net optical flares if you want to use a flare now Actually, for this, I almost forget. If you want to color correct it to match the scene, you can go to Effect, Color Correction, and then maybe Hue and Saturation, and play with the saturation. As you can see here, the color is too just too bright. There you go, maybe. Well, whatever you want with it. Now, if you want to add uh, some flares in the tip of the miss missile, you can do that. Now, I'm just gonna be showing you. Just create a new solid layer, and then for this one flares click OK and then go to effect video copilot optical flares this is a very very amazing plugins and then set on black to on transparent and boom there you go and then if you go to option you can see this is inside the after effects there's a lot of presets here if you want to use a uh, let's see which one is cool? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna find a cool lens so you can see. Mm -hmm, I forgot which one did I use for the video. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna use whatever that looks cool for now. Well, maybe this one. Let's say. Ooh, it looks weird. <laughs> Let's see. Another one, maybe. Well, whatever. So, maybe this one. All right, there you go. Now you can change it from normal to screen to match the background. If you don't have these uh, screen settings, blah blah blah, you can go toggle switch modes if you're on on this area, and then you can toggle switch modes. Boom, change it to screen, whatever. You can you can actually also change the color here from red, blue, green, yellow, whatever. Okay, uh, <laughs> you can play with the brightness. It's pretty pretty good uh, software now. Um, it's in 3D again, so you can cut it from here. Let's say now 3D space again. Now as you can see here the missile. Uh, you you don't have to animate it like the missile again. All you're gonna do, I'm just gonna be teaching you some tips here. Uh, if you have uh, two effects that you want to, you know, uh, basically the position X Y and position Z is gonna be the same. I'm just gonna be teaching you some tips to make you uh, faster. Instead of you, you know, animate it again. 
exactly like the uh, missile. Now for the flares, if you want it to be following the uh, tip of the missile, which is these keyframes right here, you can just make the flares um, position X and Y and Z following the position X and Y and Z from the missile. How to do that? I'm just going to be teaching you right now. So, all you got to do first, uh, we're going to change it, the optical flares from 2D to 3D. Boom! There you go. Now it's 3D. It got a position Z right now. Now all you're going to do is uh, hold Alt on your keyboard. Hold Alt. I don't know it's uh, in Mac because I never used Mac before. So, <laughs> in, in Windows, Alt and then key click the keyframes while you're holding Alt. Boom! There you go. And then make sure you have this position X, Y, and position Z here on the missile uh, layers. And then from the uh, position X and Y in the flares layers, click this one. Click and hold it actually. Click and hold it. And then still hold it. And then go down and make sure it follows the position X and Y in the missile. Boom! There you go. So what it does is actually makes the. Uh, you just made the position X, Y from flares following the position X, Y from the missile. Now also we're gonna do it also for the position Z. So Alt and click on the stopwatch and then uh, equip, equip that and make sure it's following the position Z from the missile. Now as you can see here, boom! The missile, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's Indonesian language by the way. <laughs> so uh, the, the light's gonna be following the missile just like so it's really easy and really fast now all you're gonna do you can add maybe for the flares effects stylized glow and woo -hoo -hoo, it's too much as you can see here you can play with it there you go well whatever you want if you want to add some glow but not too much definitely you see before after basically it's, it gives a little bit glow to the environment so it's like blend and more you know naturally and whatever if you want it by the way just a little tips right there. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we already done. It's very very easy effect. <laughs> very very easy effect. I hope you find it useful. If you do, uh, uh, well, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching. And if you guys have any other question for other effects, uh, make sure you go to my Facebook. It's gonna be in the description or my Twitter or in the uh, comment section down below or in my channel there's also a comment section you can ask any effect if i know how to do that i will make a tutorial if i don't know well i won't make it because i don't know <laughs> all right guys so there are this movie here thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next cool videos and tutorials ciao